Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a holiday 2017 anti-haul. Um, I really enjoy watching anti-hauls just because I like to see the reasons why people don't pick up certain products or will not be picking up certain products. So I wanted to go ahead and do like a holiday anti-haul just because it's something different, something that's going to be coming up soon, and it's just like limited edition items that are just for the holiday season. If you want to see the products that I will not be picking up for the holidays, just keep on watching and please subscribe if you haven't already. I do upload two times a week. I upload on Mondays and Thursdays. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my videos. And if you would like to see what products I will not be picking up, just keep on watching. So I do want to mention that um, I did not invent anti-hauls. We all know that. It was Kimberly Clark who invented anti-hauls. I'm not sure if she did the whole holiday anti-hauls as well, but I will link her channel down below if you guys are interested in checking her channel out. And also I do get some pictures from like Trend Mood and I'll also link her Instagram down below. Again, she is really awesome at keeping up with like updates and stuff but it does get very dangerous following her as well especially if you have your notifications on for her but the first product i'm going to be talking about is this mark jacobs beauty and it's the wild one iconic eyeshadow palette and it's a limited edition palette of 20 plush shadows in luxurious finishes to create endless looks for day or night this palette does retail for 99 dollars um, and that's the reason why I will not be picking up this palette. Um, I do gravitate towards more higher end um, brands. And um, this palette I will not be picking up. It just doesn't seem like an everyday palette for me. The bottom like two rows do look kind of pretty. But the first two rows it just seems kind of like a palette that wouldn't really show up on my eyelids. And I don't really like the whole zebra packaging either. So I will not be picking up that palette. Um, let me know down below if you're interested in this palette or if you have ever tried Marc Jacobs eyeshadows. I've never tried Marc Jacobs eyeshadows but I heard they are amazing. So yeah, let me know down below what you guys think about this palette. Do you guys think it's worth $99? Yeah, let me know. The next brand is going to be for Tarte, and I have two products from Tarte. The first one is, again, a limited edition. Everything that's holiday is pretty much limited edition, but it's this Treasure Box Collector's Set. So it's a gift set overflowing with Tarte Treasures, eyeshadow, liner, mascara, cheek, lipstick formulas in all new shades. So you get 24 um, eyeshadows in the eyeshadow palette. You get two of the Amazonian clay blushes in Perk and Wish. Um, you get two um, bronzers in Navigate and Excursion. You get a Amazonian clay highlighter in Wanderlust. And you get a full-size sex kit in liner, lights, camera lashes, 4-in-1 mascara, and then you also get a quick dry matte lip paint in the shade Grand, which is a deep rose shade, and you get all those things for $59. I don't really gravitate towards Tarte. I don't have a lot of Tarte products, um, especially when these like holiday stuff come out. I feel like the packaging is really bulky and I do not like bulky packaging. It's just hard to store and then also to travel with as well. You always want something really small and something travel friendly. Um, and this um, treasure box is looks pretty thick. Like. Yeah, it's pretty thick. I will not be picking up this treasure box collector set. Just again, it's just too bulky for me. And again, I don't gravitate towards a lot of Tarte products. But um, again, let me know if you will be picking up this product or not. Another Tarte product that I will not be picking up is this Blush Bazaar Amazonian Clay Blush Palette. And it has two, four, six, eight, ten blushes. I actually really like the packaging of this. I feel like it's very travel friendly compared to the Bish Bish. <laughs> compared to the big blush books. I did pick up the second one and I've only used it a handful of times. I don't like how big and bulky the packaging is. This one packaging wise is nice but again um, I will not be picking up this palette. Actually I have two of the blush sets from the holidays from Tarte. I have one that was like the pinup palette and then I also have last year when I picked it up or the year after that, I think it was last year, the big blush book too. And I just find that I don't really want to get rid of the bulky packaging just because that's what it came in because I could definitely depot them and put them in a Z palette. But I just feel like I want to keep it in its original packaging. Um, I'm good with blushes. I don't really need to buy more blushes. Um, Tarte does have really nice blushes. So if you are looking for a good um, pretty affordable blush 
palette. I do recommend the Tarte ones because again you get a lot of bang for your buck. Oh and this palette does also retail for $44. So yeah, um, I will not be picking up this palette. I don't need any more blush palettes. Yeah, I'll just be passing on this palette. Um, I do want to mention, I haven't mentioned it before, but the two Tarte items, the Clay Blush and also the Treasure Box set, and also the Marc Jacobs, you can find them at Sephora. And this one from Hourglass, you can also find it at Sephora, which is the next product I will be talking about, is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Volume 3. So it says it's a travel-friendly palette of light lighting, Essentials featuring three best-selling and three new exclusive powders for a flawlessly brighter complexion. So you get lightning powder in dim light, diffused light, a lightning blush in surreal halo and pure effect. You get a bronzer in luminous bronze light and then you get a strobe lighting powder in hypnotic strobe light. And this palette does retail for $80. Um, I did pick up the first one of the Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Palettes that they came out. This is how big the palette is. And then you get like six little three highlighters and then or setting powders and then the blush and the bronzers on the bottom. They're really small. I do not feel like it's worth $80. I didn't really see a big difference on my face when I did use the lightening powders. The blushes and the bronzer was alright but... For $80, I don't feel like it's worth it. Um, again, I did pick up one and I have, again, used it a handful of times. I don't recommend this. This is a product that I will not be picking up and I will not be, like, repurchasing newer um, limited edition palettes from Hourglass. Like, these lightning, ambient lighting edit palettes. Uh, I just don't like them. I don't see a difference on my skin. A lot of people say they look like luminous and they look really nice and natural on the skin. I don't see very much difference on my skin whether I use that or use something else. So that is another product that I will not be picking up and again it's $80 and I just feel like that's a lot for me not to notice much on my face. Set. Another highlighting set that I will not be picking up is from Cover FX, and it's the Custom Enhancer Drop Set. So you get four of the um, best selling shades from their Custom Enhancer Drops. So you get Celestial, Halo, Rose Gold, and Moonlight. And this set retails for $42. I, when I first saw this, I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to pick this up, you know, minis, because I won't be picking up the full size. I think even the full size is like around 40, 40 or $45 just for one in the full size. So this is actually nice because you get four minis to try and also travel friendly. But um, unfortunately, I will not be picking this up. I am not big on like cream contour or highlight, even though I did want it. I feel like I won't be using it and it's just going to be sitting in my collection. I don't, again, really highlight liquid highlight or anything like that. So I feel like I will just be, this product will just be going to waste sitting in my collection. Um, I have seen people use this. I've seen beautiful pictures on Instagram and even on YouTube people using this product and it's very stunning. But for me, I don't cream highlight or anything like that. So I just feel like I won't be using it. I do feel like this is an amazing deal. If you have an eye in the cover FX drops, this is a great set to get right now during the holidays because you will be trying again four shades for the price of one pretty much. The next product that I will not be picking up is an eyeshadow palette and it's actually by Lorac and it's the Mega Pro Palette 4 and this palette does retail for $59. You can find this palette at the Lorac website and also Ulta. Um, so this palette has 32 all new shades in all the matte and shimmer shades you need to create the hottest look straight from Hollywood. <laughs> Um, supposedly it's a $224 value and you can pick it up for $59. Um, I do have the Mega Pro 2 and also the 3. I have the blue packaging and I also have the white packaging. From the two palettes that I have, the blue one, the Mega Pro 2 is actually my favorite. I just feel like it has more variety, it has some cool tones and warm tone shades in the palette whereas last year it was just pretty much like warm tone shades and honestly again a handful of times I've used that palette. It's so bad. I have so much makeup that I need to be rotating it all so I can use most of it. But these shades in the Makeup Pro Palette 4 I'm not gravitated towards. I just feel like they're kind of blush shadows. I don't like the pink packaging. I'm not big on pink anything really. I never pick up anything that's pink. Mm, I don't. 
I don't gravitate towards this palette, so that's the reason why I won't be picking it up. I think if I could go back in time, I'd actually get the first Mega Pro palette because that one was really nice in the burgundy packaging and skip on last year's and this year's. So one and two are actually really nice, but three and four are kind of mid to me. But yeah, I will not be picking up this palette either. So the last products that I will not be picking up is actually a mini Velour Liquid Lipstick Volt. And it's by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And this is also just going to um, be on the Jeffree Star Cosmetics website. And I think he, he also has products at, on Beautylish. I'm not sure if they'll have this set. So it's a 7 mini Velour Liquid Lipstick set. And it's the Nudes Volume 1. And it includes top selling like nude shades. So you get Mannequin, Celebrity Skin, Posh Spice, Rose Matter, Gemini, Leo, Androgyny, and Skin Tight. And it's going to be on sale September 30th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And it's going to retail for $52.00. The little mini sets is so cute. The little liquid lipsticks are so cute. I do like Jeffree Star Cosmetics. If you go through my videos, I do have a lot of Jeffree Star Cosmetics products reviews on my channel. But I will not be picking up this set just because I have, let's see, I have Gemini, Leo, and Androgyny. So that's three of the seven already. And oh, actually, I have Celebrity Skin also, so that's four. And there's seven in here, so I have four of seven. There's actually eight shades in here. And then the other nudes that I do not have, I didn't pick up in full size because I just felt like they were too pale for my skin tone. But this is supposed to be volume one. So I'm hoping he's gonna have like a volume two with more like funner shades, which will be amazing. Um, but for the nudes set, for this set right here, I will not be picking it up. These are perfect for traveling. And these would actually be perfect if he just had these available on his website. I would actually pick up the minis, but more than the actual full size because I just think they're perfect. Like, who actually goes through a liquid lipstick so quickly? But, again, I won't be picking it up. Um, hopefully, he comes out with a different set. But for this nude set, I will not be picking it up and I will be passing on it. I hope you guys enjoyed my holiday 2017 anti-haul let me know down below if you are going to be picking up any of the products that i mentioned or if you picked any of them up what do you think about the products and let me know down below what videos you'd like to see from me um i've been kind of having like brain farts and not knowing really what to film so if you guys want to leave some video suggestions down below i will be reading all the comments to try to you know, create content that you guys want to see. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.